Hello, welcome to Christ Divine Yard Assembly. Welcome to another episode of Vision, Dreams and Prophecy. I want to thank everyone that has been part of Christ Divine Yard Assembly. Sharing the video, may God bless you. Every word you are going to hear from Christ Divine Yard Assembly is to point you to the Lord Yeshua. The Lord Yeshua is the one that releases all the world that is coming from this media. From this media. So be blessed as you share the word of God, as you listen to the word of God, and share so that others may also be blessed. Today we are going to talk about what the Lord revealed to me on the 20th of August after my morning prayer. After praying in the morning in my early morning prayers, I sat on the chair waiting on the Lord. And I had this vision and I saw in the heavens the cloud of the heavens become different. When I look at the cloud, I understood by the Spirit of the Lord that something bad is about to happen. The whole heaven, the whole cloud of the heaven took a shape and a form I have never seen before. Even eyes cannot even describe or mouth cannot even describe because I have never seen that before. So when I look at it by the Spirit of the Lord in me, I understood that something bad is about to happen. So when I look steadfastly at the cloud, I saw a huge cloud caught from the heavens, came down like a shooting star. A huge amount that can crush a building down came from the heavens, coming down with like a shooting star with a, with a mighty force. And when I saw that, it came to a certain level and it, it turned into a rain and it started to rain. And I saw many people were outside, outside, and the rain was falling and I was speaking to people to come in that this rain is going to cause many uh, destruction by people yaking not onto the word of the Lord that the Lord gave me. So I was time to tell of what the Lord is saying about this rain, this cloud, this mystery cloud that come from heaven and fall on the ground like a shooting star on the earth like a shooting star that become a rain. We need to understand that the Bible says in Job chapter 37 from verse 10 to 13, I'll read Job 37 from verse 10 to 13. It says, by the bread of God, fruits is given and the bread of the waters is strengthened. Also by the watering, he wearied the thick cloud, he scattered his bright cloud and and it is turned round about by his counsel that they may do whatsoever he commanded them upon the face of the world in the earth. Verse 13. It is where we need to focus on. He caused it to come whether for correction or for his land or for his mercy. So the Lord commanded the cloud, the rain, how he will. He will come to us for correction, it will come to us for, for the land or for a mercy. But this time around, what I saw by the Spirit of the Lord, what I was privileged to see, the cloud, the rain that is coming upon the earth is going to be for correction. It's going to be for the correction of nation, for the correction of people. Brothers and sisters, I would like to speak to us about what the Lord is saying. I'm just a servant and I'm graced and privileged to see certain visions of the Lord. So I will say this to us, brothers and sisters, there is going to come a rain that is going to fall upon the earth. And this rain is going to cause destruction. And the Bible says when rain comes upon the earth, it's to, for mercy, it's to bless, or it's for correction. But this rain that is coming upon the face of the earth, that will fall in many parts of the world, is going to come for correction there's a lot of iniquities on the earth today people do not yak in onto the commandment of the Lord the Lord the Bible says in John 3 16 for God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son he has given us the Lord Yeshua that is the best every father can do to give his own son for others to be saved he has given us the Lord Yeshua he has given us the Lord Yeshua for everyone, for every nation, so that they may be saved. 
but today we do not yearn unto the word of Yahweh. We do not believe unto on His Son, Lord Yeshua. We have denied the sacrifice that His Son did for us, for this, so that we all can be saved. We have denied the sacrifice. We have denied ourselves salvation. And many nations have gone against the Lord. Many nations have sinned against the Lord. They have sinned against the land. They have sinned against the Most High God. Now the element of the earth that the Lord God created, the Lord is going to use it to correct us, to bring us back to us, to Him. We need to understand that everything that the Lord does, He does it out of His love for men. He does it out of His love for men. So there is going to come a rain that is going to fall in many parts of the world. This rain is going to come with correction that God is speaking to us. When the rain comes in a such a form, we need to understand the crops will be, will be affected. Humans will be affected. It will come with sickness. When this rain is going to fall, it's going to come with sickness. The Bible said the Lord does nothing unless he revealed it to his servants, the prophet. By the grace of God, I have received this vision and I stand to declare what I saw by the Spirit of the Lord. So let everyone be one, let nation be one. Those who can take comfort in the hands of the Lord, they shall be preserved. They shall be, a, the Lord shall be a shield over them in this time when this rain is released. In the days of Noah, Noah was the righteous one. Noah was the one that built the ark and he takes comfort and shelter over over um, in the Lord. The Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The Lord is going to protect the righteous. The Lord is going to protect His people. But those who are not yet righteous, this is a time for us to run to the Lord. We are living in the last days. This is a time for us to run to the Lord and be safe. Remember, the Lord Yeshua, Jesus Christ, is the only way to the Father. He is the way, the truth, and the life. So when this rain is going to come, take note. People are going to look at it as a normal rain, but what the Lord revealed to me, it will come to us as a rain, but it will come as a correction to the many nations and to many people. It will come with sickness. It will come with a lot of... Uh, um, it will affect the crops of many people, of many nations, of many lands, of many tribes. It's going to affect your crops. It's going to cause, when this rain is going to come, it's going to cause flood in many areas. When this rain is going to come, it's going to cause many diseases and sickness. Please take note of these things, not because it must come to pass. We can pray and ask the Lord for mercy. But listen, the Lord never gave me any nation, so I understand by the Spirit of the Lord is going to happen in different parts of the world. So what we need to do is this. The Lord Yeshua is the only safe place. The Lord God is the only safe place. Many of you will ask this question. Why is the Lord allowing such a rain to fall upon the earth? Remember, God has given the earth unto man. We men have made up our mind not to yak into our Creator. We men have made up our mind not to believe the Lord God. He has sent forth His prophet, a holy prophet, apostles, evangelists all over the world to preach that He is the one and only true God. It is us that has caused the land to spill us out. It is us that has caused the land. We have seen and we have defied the land and we have defied the earth. Now the earth is now vomiting us out from what we have deposited into the world. The world was once perfect, but us man made of our mind to sin against the Almighty God. So the Lord is not responsible. The Lord is not to blame in anything that is happening into the world. It is man. It is man that created weapon. It is man that created uh, man. Uh, uh, everything which is used for destruction not the lord we did it ourselves we we some of you ask this question i didn't ask to come to this world this question you better ask this question to your parents it is your parents 
your father and your mother that meet together and give birth to you. Many questions we ask because we are ignorant. We come to this world, your parents, your father and mother met together before you came to this world. They are the ones that knock the door to bring you into this world. So when you ask a question, I didn't ask to come to this world, that question, you need to direct that question to your parents. Everything that is happening into the world, we, us humans, we have caused this upon ourselves. But there is still hope for us. Jesus Christ is the way. The mercy of God abound. The mercy of God is still available. If you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your heart. He knocks daily, every day. He's knocking at your door. Brother, as you are listening to me, the Lord is knocking at your door. Every preacher you hear on the radio, on the street, preaching, is the Lord speaking to you, knocking at your door. The Lord is knocking at your door. Sister, the Lord is knocking at your door. Father, mother, the Lord is knocking at your door. People, brothers and sisters, you see any preaching on Facebook, on social media, on the internet, on the TV, the Lord is knocking at your door. Harden not your heart. Open the door. He is going to come in. Him and his father will come and make an abode in you. Brothers and sisters, there is still time to repent. Seek the Lord today. Confess your sin. Ask the Lord to erase your name from the book of death and to write your name in the book of life. Confess from your heart. Hold, have the Bible. Buy a Bible for yourself. Look for a living church, a world-based church. And the Lord Spirit will take over you from there. Be blessed and share this video. Bye.